Hello, Prince Charming. You finally come too. You're the one who found my glass slippers and woke me up. I can hardly think of a more fitting name for you. I don't like giving explanations. It's not beautiful. Go take a look outside. Everyone is safe for now. I'll just take a few more looks in the mirror before I head out. I must maintain my beauty. Commander! Master? Not too long. A few hours? But are you sure you should be walking around? He's always getting beaten, battered, and bruised. He must have built up a tolerance. Don't be ridiculous. Having said that, you did recover awfully quickly. Almost unnaturally so. Well, Cinderella fought with Behemoth. She wasn't quite able to overcome her. It was a long brawl. Behemoth ended up expanding that dark matter of hers. So much so that it covered her entire body and rendered Cinderella's attacks useless. It didn't feel like that. It felt more like a last-minute gambit done out of desperation. She appeared to be in severe pain. So we took advantage of that and escaped. Not good. Vesti is completely wrecked, and the crystals consumed a majority of Uma's body. She's operating at a severely limited capacity, but the situation isn't any worse than it was with hammering. So long as we replace her body with another, she should be fine. Emma was also badly hurt, since she tried to protect Unwa from the crystals that Behemoth was throwing. It's fair to say that she's out of commission for the time being. We're waiting until the transport unit arrives. Her body was torn to shreds, so Mana is looking after her. Apparently, if you're injured to that extent, your consciousness typically shuts down automatically. Samana so was surprised she held out for so long. Still, Mana said she can repair her. Since Grave has the body of a mass-produced Nikkei, swapping it out for a new one shouldn't be too difficult. Hmm. <sighs> Being so soundly defeated by Behemoth got into her head for a bit. But she's fired up and determined to get revenge. She's currently with Absolute. She told us she wanted to say farewell. Yes. I don't get it. She's gonna see them soon enough, so why say goodbye? Not like that. An emotional farewell. Uh... Anyways, that's the situation so far. Shifty said she'll fill us in on the next step of the plan when she gets details. Let's rest until then. To repay the favor. You all saved me. How long have you been standing there? Uh. I wish to join you. In reclaiming the surface. It's something I should have done a long time ago. I'm looking forward to it. Now, about that thing I mentioned... <sighs> Can we make that happen? She keeps asking us to install full-body mirrors around the place. Yeah, every 100 meters, no less. That was a compromise on my part. I was originally going to ask for them every 50 meters. 
so that I can check my appearance constantly. I must always be beautiful. We all must be. Ugh. You sound like a vain celebrity. The transport unit is scheduled to arrive within an hour. How are you feeling? I'm okay. It's nothing fatal. Is Vesti stable? Yeah. She's asleep now. If she stayed awake in her current state, she'd be likely to suffer a mind switch. I see. How about you, Unwa? Are you okay? I said don't call me by my name. Get away from me, will you? I can move fine without your help. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Here we go. I'm sorry for leaving without saying anything. Truly. Ugh. I... I wanted to become Red Hood. I thought I knew how things would go, and that I had inherited her mission. <clears throat> I long thought about how Red Hood could have become as strong as she did. She had comrades whom she valued dearly, and an important high-stakes mission. So, when I met up with and spent time with all of you, I felt that I had also gained comrades in arms who meant a lot to me. It brought me closer to Red Hood. I thought if I stayed on this path, then I would become like her. That I could carry on her mission. But it wasn't like that. I was just pretending. When I accidentally killed that human being, I found myself worrying more about the paperwork I'd have to fill out than what I'd done. That's when I realized I was merely pretending to be Red Hood. I had no real grasp of what the mission meant, nor what I had to shoulder to see that mission through. I was a pretender. An empty shell. So the question was, what was I? What had I lived for up until then? What had I ever really achieved? What was I? What did I look like? I had so many questions, but couldn't find any answers. I felt like I had used you all as players in my embarrassing play acting, and it filled me with a deep, painful shame. That's why I couldn't say anything. So I left. Stupid, right? <laughs> yeah. You're a real fool. <sighs> if I had said all of this to you then, would it have changed anything? It would have changed everything. <sighs> okay. Thank you. You all are very important to me. Why now? There must be a reason you're bringing this up now. So let's hear it. I didn't want any of you to stop because of me. <sighs> Go. Go and spend your life with that third-rate squad you like so much. They operate more on your level. As for us, we'll go our own way. I understand. Take care of yourselves. I'm going now, Emma. Rappy. Thank you for being brave. Is this what you call bravery? Everyone has a different definition of it. <sighs> Thank you. Um. See you around. Rappy. <sighs> yes. See you around. Unwa. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> you forgave her so easily. You're right. Maybe I just wanted to hear an answer. It was quite simple, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <sighs> it's time to initiate tactical up. Oh my. 
You mean the one Ingrid prepared? I thought you were dead set against that. Why the sudden change? Now we don't have to leave an empty spot for her. My concern was that if we proceeded with that plan, she'd never have a spot on this team again. And that... saddened me. But it's okay now. Since she won't be coming back. Hmm. Yeah. Let's become the best we can be. Just us three. <laughs>